let's answer the almighty question how to break in Doc Martens fast, quickly, easily, and without killing your feet. Hey, I'm Jen, and if the algorithm has brought you here like this person here, A, yes, I do make a lot of videos about Doc Martens, and B, you should automatically subscribe. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how to break in Doc Martens, and I recently just got like two new pairs of dogs that I have to break in. Actually, wait, three? How am I supposed to hold these up? Three new pairs of dogs that I have to break in immediately. So I thought, why not do a whole video on how to break them in fast and my methods? But um, to be honest, usually what I do is buy secondhand first up. A, better for the environment. B, better for your feet because you have less blisters already worn in and C, they're cheaper. So that's my first point. Here, but if you were to get new ones, I usually just like wear them, <laughs> wear them everywhere around the house, everything, um, and slowly just break them in that way. But there are a lot of techniques to speed up that process because honestly, that is a very committed process. You have to, I don't know, just be stubborn and get the blisters. So first up in this video, I will get to the tips first. And then at the end of the video, I am going to show you like a vlog of me trying to wear these in because I haven't even worn them yet. And I want to show you the actual full on legit experience I'm having with these shoes. So, and I thought quickly I would address the fact I look like Gertie Giggles. I can't even say her name. Gertie Giggles today. Big energy here from Spy Kids. Not sure why I'm doing this. I'm gonna regret putting this on the internet, but um, my hair just would not go on the buns today. So we got these going on. They're kind of flappy. First tip for breaking in Doc Martens is initially you wanna get the right size. If you don't get the right size, you're gonna have a really rough time breaking them in. So I'll probably have a whole nother video jumping right into sizing, cause that's just like a whole nother topic. But just quickly, if you get what you think is your right size, please like, you know, try them on in store and stuff. If you can't try get your regular size, I would say um, for some of them, maybe size down if they're unisex size. But if you get them already and you find they're too tight, you can take out the inner sole. So some of them, well, don't take it out if it's not removable, but some of them you can take out the inner sole like these Mary Janes and boom, you got extra room down the bottom of your shoe. Now it might be a little less comfortable, it's a bit harder, but you could get a thinner kind of bit of foam or something to put underneath the shoe. But then, but then, if they're too big, Feel free to go get an extra inner sole and put that in the shoe and then that will fit even better for you. So that is my just tip. You gotta make sure your shoes fit. Next up, you wanna put the shoes on and kind of gauge where you might get blisters. Usually you can kind of tell right in the beginning, you'll probably feel like maybe back here is a bit stiff or um, at the front or like on this section at the top here. So kind of gauge where you might get blisters and take note of that. Now, wherever you felt all that pressure, you wanna take your shoe and you want to kind of massage the shoe in, get it ready for actually wearing it. So take it off. And what you can do if you have it, which I don't, is put on the Wonder Balm. Um, this is not Wonder Balm, this is just you know, a little something for me to hold right now, but <laughs> you can put the Wonder Balm or any kind of like leather moisturizer onto the leather and that will condition the leather and make it a lot softer. So when you wear them, it's not as bad. But let's be real with you. I haven't actually used Wonder Balm on my dogs. I've just kind of worn them. So it's not vital if you don't feel like doing it. Next, you want to take a look at your foot and say, hey foot, where are you going to get the blisters? Um, <laughs> And you want to kind of like have an idea of where the blisters are going to maybe be before you get them. Because once you get them, you're probably going to have to wait before you can wear the docks again. So I typically get them on my heels. That's pretty much it. Just on my heels. Some people get on their toes and stuff. But once you work out where the pressure is from those shoes, just by putting them on for a second, you can put band-aids on. Now I find regular band-aids 
don't typically work very good because they just kind of roll off and they kind of, yeah, you know, they, there's lots of rubbing. What I have found in my past is this stuff or something like it, I'm not really sure. It's called, this one's called Prima Fix Plus, but what really, it's just like this big roll. You don't have to get a whole roll, but it looks like this, if you can see that. And it's just like sticky kind of adhesive um, material kind of stuff. I honestly used to get a lot of blisters when I was playing soccer growing up. And one time I went to the doctors and they were like, how about you put some of this on and see if it like still rubs when you're running and stuff. And honestly, it makes your foot just kind of like seamless. Like with band-aids, there's like a bump, but with this, it just like holds your foot together and you don't get as many blisters. It stays on pretty well, but also you can pull it off if you need to. So that is like literally my own pro tip that I haven't really seen on the internet is to use this kind of tape. And I've probably talked about it for like 10 minutes now. Next up, you wanna wear the right socks. They are another barrier from the blisters. Now you don't want any socks that are kind of slipping down and rubbing and moving around because that would just make things a lot worse. You definitely don't wanna be wearing like little tiny socks. You wanna be wearing like socks that kind of go up your leg. So what I've found is that I use a lot of socks that are like tennis socks. Now, yes, my socks are dirty. Don't come at me, weirdos. I'm not selling them. Literally tennis socks, you know, they like kind of hold together, they're thicker, and um, they'll stay up the whole time. Usually is my go-to if you don't have access to Doc Martin socks, which as you can tell, I just got a new pair of socks. I haven't tried these before because they're literally $40 and to me, that's a lot of money, but I guess <laughs> I guess the shoes are already a lot of money. But let's do an unboxing of these bad boys. Um, these are the Double Dock Sock. They have a padded cuff. They have raised padding and they're breathable and double layer. And I got them in a size small. Oh, wow. That <laughs> They are really big socks. These are the Doc Martin socks. I will honestly review them at the end of the video when I try to wear them with my new Docs. But as I can just feel, there's like two layers inside of the sock. So you got the inside layer and the outside layer. And the girl at the shop was saying the inside layer just kind of holds on your foot, whereas the outside can move around and they're thick enough that it will kind of stretch out your docks a bit and they will go to the right side of your foot. So I'll try these out, but it's always a good idea to have socks that are thick. If you don't have a double dock sock, you could honestly put in two pairs of socks. Now that you finally have all those, ugh, all of those things, you can finally wear your docks and I just mean just wear it around the house, that's it. You wanna um, bend your foot around, um, wear them just on the couch, wear them on the computer. Don't stand on your computer, but just wear them around the house. And a pro tip that I actually got from somebody is to wear them while you're riding a bike because it puts less pressure than like actually walking in them. And luckily for me, we have an exercise cycle here. So I'll probably be doing that a little bit. But yeah, first step is just to wear them for small amounts of time, as long as you can handle it. Then once they feel more comfortable, you can go in the outside world, maybe go to the supermarket, maybe go for a little walk around the block, kind of see if you can manage to wear them. Um, I wouldn't recommend like wearing them for a whole day at work, which is what I used to do. If you're gonna do that, definitely take a spare pair of shoes with you to put on if they end up being a problem. Now, if you've done all that and you still find you're struggling, I have some extra, extra tips right here. So if you're getting a really sore heel, because honestly, this is a bad boy back here, like you can, pro tip, if you feel game enough, put a sanitary pad at the back of your shoe. All you have to do is pop this in the back of it. Now, I haven't actually tried it, but pro tips have come from the comments. Um, just don't use a used one. That would be, that'd be gross. But yes, that just adds extra padding at the back. You could use anything else, but that is pretty good because it just like sticks at the back of your shoe. You can also get like proper like things from a supermarket, but I think that's probably cheaper. I've also seen a bunch of these really cool like heel gel things. Um, which I haven't actually tried and I will probably try 
pretty soon in the future if I need one, but I just haven't had a place that I've been living properly to send it to. But yeah, it's apparently really good and it just goes around like the heel of your foot and stops you from getting blisters that way. Another thing you can do is use a hair dryer. So what you can do is wear your shoe and then kind of heat up the shoe a little bit, not too hot, but heat it up enough and then you keep wearing the shoe until it's cooled down and it should have stretched out the leather and just like gone into the pores and stuff. Um, do it that way or you can stuff it with socks and do the same thing. Or if you want to go the cold method, you could get one of these kind of bags here. Um, maybe you want to double bag it. I've only got one. But what you do is you put this all the way into your shoe, fully, fully into your shoe. Fill this with water. Bear with me. Close it, make sure it's sealed, and then put that in the freezer and the water will kind of expand and freeze inside the shoe and the shoe will just like stretch out a little bit while you don't actually have to wear it. And then you can take that out of the freezer, let it thaw out and boom, apparently that is an amazing method to wear them in and a lot of people swear by that. Now, if you've noticed that you're wearing them around and there's a lot of squeaking, that tends to be quite normal with a new pair of docks and it should go away, but if it's not going away, you can add talcum powder maybe underneath the inner sole or wherever you think is squeaking and hopefully that should fix it up. And if you are noticing you're getting a lot of creases, well, Doc Martens get creases and that is how they get character. But I have seen recently online that there's crease guards, which are these things that people put generally in Nike sneakers to stop them from getting creases at the front. And it's just kind of like this insert thing that goes at the top and it holds it together and stops it getting from so many creases. Honestly, I haven't tried it, but maybe I'll try it in the future if you want me to. But yes, they are all the tips I'm gonna be using for these bad boys. I will be using a few different tips for these because these are actually canvas stocks. I actually, I think they might be easier to break in because they're not as harsh, but I'm not gonna be putting like any balm or anything on them. I'm just gonna be wearing them probably with the double dock socks and just kind of making sure I have band-aids on and stuff like that. So I'm not 100% sure on the exact process that could like speed this up, but that's what I'm gonna be doing for them. And honestly, there's probably like a bazillion and one different kinds of ways to break in your docks, but um, let me know in the comments if you have any other suggestions on how you break in docks down below. So now over the next week or so, I am going to try my best to break in these docks, wear them for the first time. I've noticed already that these straps are already so stiff, so I think my first step is going to be massaging these straps until I can actually buckle them where I want them. But um, yeah, I will go to future gen now. All right, first day I'm gonna try out these Mary Janes with obviously my dog socks. Um, so I'll just put them on now. Now I've put these socks on for the first time and they're kind of interesting. You can tell they kind of have two layers, so you can pull up the top layer and then the bottom layer stays kind of secure. They remind me of soccer socks, to be honest, and they don't look the most fashionable, but we'll see what they're like with the shoes. All right, so I have them on my feet, but it's so hard to get it so it doesn't go bunchy on the heels. I guess they're like a tiny bit big for me, but I guess that's just what I'm rolling with for the time being, but yeah, it took a while to stop it getting bunchy under my heels and stuff because they seem quite big, but um, yeah, we'll see how they go with these. I couldn't even like do up the straps because they're just so hard. I just need to like massage it a little bit more. But I am going to now pack my bag, um, which is a total other video, but I'm going to wear these shoes while I'm packing to see if I get sore feet. Lockdown. All right, I've been wearing these bad boys all morning and I don't feel any pain at all. To be fair, I haven't been moving around that much, but now I'm going to go for a walk around the block and see if they hurt me. They have survived. No blisters at all. Do you like my cool hat? I wore these outside for about 15, 20 minutes and no problems. 
I don't know if I'm like superhuman or if uh, he's just comfortable or the dog socks just happen to work, but I feel confident I can just wear them around anywhere. All right, future gen, hopefully you broke those stocks in and they don't look as fresh as this anymore. But um, yes, I hope you enjoyed the video. My name, is, my name has been Jen. Um, if you want to subscribe for more Doc Martens content and fashion, I'm traveling soon. You know, please subscribe. My Instagram's at in the wonder years. And until next time, keep wondering.